Domestic Violence Awareness Month continues, and we're taking a closer look at how law enforcement and prosecutors handle these complex cases. Well, this morning, we hear from Harris County District Attorney Kim Ogg, who sat down with our Rochelle Turner to discuss the challenges that her office faces and what needs to be done to prevent future violence. Rochelle joins us now live in the newsroom with more on their conversation. Rochelle. Sophia Owen, good morning. We had an in-depth conversation that lasted about 20 minutes covering the tough realities of domestic violence, a problem that continues to affect thousands of families in Harris County. Ock says domestic violence is the most filed crime in her office with 16,000 cases currently pending. Here's more from our conversation. Since you've been in office, talk about the progress you've seen when it comes to handling domestic violence cases. And there is there any areas that need to be improved on? There's always areas. We need more cops, we need more prosecutors, and we need to be able to get these cases in front of courts quicker. Uh, the dockets are still backlogged. These cases are not prioritized. And many times that delay causes additional trauma to the victims who are having trouble anyway escaping their abusers. So I think there's always room for improvement. What I will tell you we've changed is this prioritization approach for the high-risk offenders. We see so many intimate partner murders. Last year we filed 77, and that's a record for Harris County. It's a terrible record. Og highlighted that her office is now working closely with law enforcement in areas like Pasadena to ensure dangerous offenders don't slip through the cracks. We know people who draw weapons, pull a knife on their partner. That's a higher risk. And those who continue to make threats of retaliation. Their troops were trained, hey, these are folks we don't want to fool around with. Let's make that arrest. Let's get that case filed. Our lawyers are fighting in court to keep those cases alive and not be one of the cases that's dismissed uh, for some unknown reason by court. So. I know people say, well, how can judges do that? Well, when they don't believe a crime has happened, they can throw it out on no probable cause. And we see that a lot, almost 5,000 times in 10 years or so. Og stressed the need for better communication with the courts and for faster action to prevent the cycle of violence from continuing. When it's a predictable crime, it's a preventable crime. So for everybody interested in uh, making this world a better place, Look at your own life, look at your friends and family, and if you see something, say something. And domestic violence affects people from all walks of life, regardless of their ethnicity or immigration status. Now, right now, you can see that QR code at the bottom of your screen. You can scan that code and it'll take you to our website that's Click to Houston, and you'll be able to find a list of resources and support that are available for anyone in need, no matter their background. Back to you.